Hi, I'm Taj Burrow. I'm going to talk you guys through a frontside air reverse. Frontside air reverse. Yeah, that's my most common air for sure. When I'm paddling into a wave that it's just got air written all over it, you know, I take off and I'm just eyeing off that section down the end. I just want to get to the end and just punt an air reverse. It is obviously better if you do have speed, you can get a lot higher. You know, any size wave really from, you know, two foot up to six foot if, you know, you have the balls for it. You know, get that stance going and then make sure you throw your body into that rotation and make sure your board's attached. For me, um, as you go for the grab, I want to throw my right shoulder, you know, into the spin, the whole body, you know, it'd be your left shoulder if you're a goofy foot. Once you've um, thrown your body into that position, you want to have your body over your front foot at that stage, I'd say. You'd go for the grab, you'd spin, and you'd just, your goal would be to just land tail first. Make sure your tail's pointed straight to the beach. Sometimes it works perfect, other times you might fall, you know, right into the transition and it might, it might just, you can easily slip off and stack it or, you know, your board can flip and all sorts can go wrong. Normally if you land on the lip and then down the transition really fast, I think that, that looks best. Obviously a light little crumbly onshore wind's probably the best, either onshore or even a bit side, on, side shore coming straight towards you. That always makes it easier, it helps your board stick to your feet and even throws you into the rotation. A good idea to shuffle that front foot forward. Um, you know, it's, it makes it a bit easier if you adopt a big stink bug stance, <laughs> as bad as that sounds, it, it really does work. I'd say it's about time you should uh, get off your computer and go try one of these things. Yeah.